Today we're going to jump inside Content Villain for a little bit of an update video. Specifically, I want to talk about the DIY custom modules under the Experiments tab. We can actually create our own AI writing assistant tool. And in this video, I'm going to be creating something similar to what I did with Niches, the AppSumo product-like description. Now, Stuart is the creator of Content Villain. I made a video last year. It was one of my favorite tools. And then I kind of stopped making videos on the channel. I'll be the first to say I haven't used the tool to its full potential. What I love about Content Villain is it is unique in its approach. It does web hooks and integration, stuff like that. They now also have the long form editor. I can make a video on that if you'd like. However, today we're doing DIY custom models and this is kind of a lead into Riku.ai. I just picked this up. I'm still learning it. Now, Stuart is the creator of this as well. He's a co-founder of Riku.ai. So Content Villain was the first product. It's the front end. It's like many of the other tools that we've looked at on this channel. It is a very nice and complete tool that has improved significantly. Riku is kind of like the back end. So you know you've heard of OpenAI's GPT-3. Well, you can use the different types of modules powering something like Content Villain. So today we're actually just gonna create our custom product description. So I'm gonna go to AppSumo so we can emulate AppSumo style. So what I'm gonna do is highlight the title here, jump to Content Villain. I'm gonna paste the title in right there. Under details, I'm gonna paste our one line sentence. And then between the three number signs, top and bottom, I'm gonna paste the content that we actually want. And I'm gonna do this a few times to give it some context for the different products inside of AppSumo. And we'll do three versions of this. I think it's pretty cool that we're allowed to do this all within the Content Villain app. We don't actually need Riku and we don't need to understand that. And I did pick this up and I am making a video on it. However, this is a bit more complex. Like with this tool, you can export your prompts to Python or Curl. I don't even know what curl is. I'm clearly no coder. I'm clearly just a regular guy making YouTube videos. And if I come back into Content Villain, I'm gonna give our tool a title. So, so we're gonna say create AppSumo like product descriptions. To generate, I need to copy the title and details and come down here and we'll do it for instantly. I'll probably be making a video on it. I'm not very good at cold outreach. Hopefully this tool can help. And I'm going to come down here and I'm just gonna click generate. And what it should do is write our product paragraph for instantly underneath these three. And here it says, now you can build better pipelines, automate your outreach and scale your campaigns across the world with Instantly, the AI driven tool that makes cold outreach easy. So this is like super basic, right? This is definitely not as good as Niches. That Niches custom tool is just blows my mind even to this point, how it mimics the exact type of phrasing. However, over here to the right, we can adjust some of our information and I'm gonna bump the output length all the way up and I'm gonna turn the temperature up a bit as well. That'll get more creative with it. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to generate and let's see what it does now. And here is our output. What is the difference between apps and other collaboration tools? All these tools are meant to connect teams with the people and companies they need, but no single app does it all. All right. So it definitely got more creative, right? It, and it also didn't stick to the uh, topic at hand. So we're going to delete that out and we're going to adjust it back down to maybe like 75. So I do like the longer output. Now the longer output is probably going to be a little bit harder for the AI to stay on topic. You've made a lot of sales and you're on top of your game, but you're running out of time and out of ideas to reach more prospects. That's why you need to automate your outreach strategy. You're not alone and you can get started right now introducing instantly. So they did not keep with the joke. I don't know how to get it to tell that joke. I know I could keep feeding this data by putting in a ton of different AppSumo like product descriptions. The more data that I give it, the more likely it is to actually pick up on that. Riku's what we're gonna be playing around with in the next week, creating stuff like this. This is kind of an introduction into that because Content Villain has it built in under experiments. And this was actually pretty good right here. Let's come in and do launch flows. And it says, there's a reason why most online businesses run on WooCommerce. It's the most popular e-commerce plugin available today. I don't know if that's true. You can fact check it. I do know it's very popular. WooCommerce is great, but it comes with a laundry list of limitations. So I love the fact it's literally copying what we're doing up here, introducing deep talk. Here comes Utobo, introducing launch flows. And if I wanted to, like I said, I could just keep feeding this thing. And if I fed this thing about 10 of these, I would probably have something that is incredibly workable. You can build these out as complex as you want. Here we've got Melon. This is leaving the store in a few days. This is, by the way, a very impressive 
live streaming tool, creating high quality live streams right from your browser. So let's go ahead and generate a prompt for Melon now that we've given it far more information. And here's what it says. It's frustrating to watch a live stream you paid for only to find it's unlisted or worse yet, a low quality pixelated mess. This is a real waste of my money. Melon is a complete live streaming tool and makes it simple to create and launch high quality live streams with built-in features that increase viewer engagement. All right, so now they've got the joke. So we fed it a little bit more context. Now they're starting to write the joke. This is a way that you can create your own custom model inside of Content Villain. So this is pretty cool. And now I'm gonna delete out the Melon one, even though it did great there. I can come over and save my model and I can give my model a name and then we can select the types that we want. Now, if you do something like OpenAI, they're gonna have to do further checks for approval. So if you wanna use it quicker, you're gonna have to use Cohere, AI21, GPTJ. Riku AI uses these four things right here. So OpenAI, AI21, Cohere, and then the Alethira AI, that's the GPTJ. That's open source AI. So which should we go with? I don't know, let's go with AI21. That's kind of been the biggest rival that I've heard of in comparison to something like OpenAI. AI21, let's continue and define the inputs. So for our inputs, we're gonna go with title and description, and that's all we really need. So now we'll provide on the front end what it'll be. On the front end, I'm gonna go with product name and then a one line sentence about the product. And then I'm gonna save the DIY model. And here it says that it has been created. So let's go into our dashboard and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the AppSumo reviews document that I've created. And over here to the right, I'm gonna go to AI generators and I'm gonna go to custom models Here's my AppSumo-like product description. So I don't know wait, why we have this third input. That's a bit confusing. I might've messed something up there. Let's go ahead and do this one. And I'll select the one line sentence, paste that in, and then we'll click generate text. And it should write our AppSumo-like intro, similar to niches and much better than writer, which I made that video comparing those two. Writers is just not uh, in depth enough, right? You're not giving it enough context so that it can give you outputs. With Content Villain, you can give a, an insane amount of context. And with something like Riku, you can give even more. So here is our information. SEO is a hard business. I mean, look at the kind of posts I write. With the right tools, you can create blog posts faster, smarter, and easier than ever before. You lost me at the word. All right, so that's weird, the arresting word. It's interesting. That's the word they were looking for. So the jokes, they're not the greatest. We probably need to give it some more context. But this one right here, I like a lot. As a bonus, it will also write your SEO-friendly content for you. And this is a decent start, right? We can come back and we can refine our model if we want. So I could come in and I could keep giving it some context. I can save this model. It is incredibly easy to play around with AI using Content Villain. Hopefully this video brought you some value. Smash that like button if it did. My name is Scott with AI Profits and I'll see you in the next one.